All right, episode 55. Sticks and stones won't break my bones. I don't think you can see it, but there are little deer in the distance. Five of them. Yeah, there are. And on that note, it's a little after seven. Oops, sorry about the shake. That's five deer off in the distance. But, it is a little bit after seven. This is episode 55, day 68. We're gonna head to Water Source to the ranger station and see what's in store for us the next day. Try to enjoy another beautiful day. And that's our view right there. Other than that, it's gonna be a little quiet. I think there's some people camped. I will catch everyone on the other side. I think this is the first official river crossing according to Unicorn on gut hooks, I don't know. But as you can see, the water is so beautifully clear. What a great morning so far. It took me a bit on that boulder right there. I was trying to take it easy on the foot. So I was stalled there for a little bit because I was trying to take as much pressure off that left foot, but looks like Unicorn has it. Ta-da! All right, so doing a little Sawyer squeeze in here. This is what the terrain looks like today. There's a lot of switchbacks, kind of technical, a little reminiscent of some early Georgia hike and on the AT since we sectioned uh, all the way up a couple hundred miles on the AT. This reminds me a little bit of that terrain because it's pretty steep and you can see the rocks and there's definitely roots sticking out. We haven't really encountered roots on this hike up to this point. They're there. And the shadows kind of cover the rocks and the sand, so it's a little bit tricky. But besides that, it's a nice day with nice weather as we make our way to the ranger station. But it's still very peaceful. Not a lot of birds out this way, out of these parts. Getting up from our break before I show everyone how I pack my stuff. I don't really use my slippers a lot except for like the showers and some of those hiker towns, but it comes in handy. I put it right up here at the top of the path and it provides this like stable platform as you can tell right there up at the top. That way when you put the canister up there, it kind of stabilizes itself on the pack. Other than that, just decided to share that with everyone out there what I primarily use my slippers for. Just notice the structure. Take a look at this rock. We're in such a beautiful section. Look at that. It's kind of worn down the side there. It looks really beautiful. 
and you can see it if I don't want to shake the camera the contrast to what we have behind us and then you have like those the tree line out there kind of it's beautifully combed if I zoom back in right behind us you can see that right there right it's just beautifully combed right to the top it is very pretty extremely extremely pretty so behind me right there is the trail right don't trip is right there I decided to take a break here right here really cute place a little shady and I was like okay and we're sitting here eating and there was a strange sound in the wind so unicorn looks up and says hey look at that so we're like okay there is an upside down license plate stuck to a tree and we're like that's weird and then you look further down <laughs> I have to look down so the camera might shake a little because I gotta watch where I walk. It's and it's the other half of the license plate. Be careful, it can get uh, in on that. Yeah. See, it's actually lodged into the it's tree. In the tree. Just going straight into the tree. It's like in the tree. Sorry about that. See it? One license plate looks like it was like nailed in, but it wasn't. That license plate is in the tree. And there's the trail right there to your right. Oh yeah, and let me show you. We'll, we'll be going back down it here when we get back on. There's the trail right there. It looks like it was also like sliced in half diagonally. Yeah, it was sliced in diagonally because it's in the other tree. It's so crazy. Wow, mystery of the license plate. We just came down from all of that rock in between and it comes up to this cute little wooden fence here. What does that wooden fence say? It says, close this gate to protect the wilderness. All right. And there's a beautiful tree right there behind it. Yeah. But these boulders are something. It was neat kind of snake, snaking down this switchbacking. It was very, very beautiful. You can see those tiny little dots. One, two, three. Deer grazing. I'll see if I can get a closer shot. Otherwise, that's the best I've got right there in the center of the screen. on my back.
episode 55. Under 10 miles again? Yeah, a little over 8 today. Alright. So, actually, first things first, check, check this out. Look how many layers. There's like seven different layers, if you can see that. They're not, that is a thing of beauty. It's packed right to the top. Even some olive oil in there. That's going to take me about 45 minutes to eat. Yes, it will. Unicorn's doing the same, but I'll get up here off my lazy behind and show you where we're camped out at. The ranger station. Just kicked over my water bottle. There's a triplex. This is where we're having dinner. And then now, uh, it's got a nice view over here. It's probably dark shadow. But yep, yeah, it was a good day. The theme was sticks and stones won't break my bones. Felt good. Feet felt good. I'm taking a look at it. The swelling's down. So maybe it was just like massively bruised and it, hopefully it wasn't like a fracture or something bad. And I can shake it off slowly. We're only doing, you know, 10 miles a day or whatever. So we're doing the right thing by slowing down and really enjoying the beauty around us. And you can tell there's a lot of it. We got the sound of water tonight when we're camping. But um, a few miles away from, I don't know, we got Guitar Lake coming up and then we got Whitney coming up. And see how that all goes. But appreciating another day out here because, you know, taking a whole week off for a foot is a scare. So let's see how we're going to do. We just appreciate being out here another day. Unicorn, as you're putting together your supper, any wise words, anything else? How you feeling? Feeling good, excited to do Whitney. Excited to do Whitney. We did up Mount Albert in 2018. Yeah. So this will top Mount Albert in Colorado. This is taller than Mount Albert. Yeah. But remember that. That's unreleased footage. I took, uh, actually that'll be fun to put up. Because we had it, I had the camera out. But that was, uh, that was another that experience. But that, that, that started it all, really, yeah, was Colorado. So at the end of the day, it was really, really good. We had a little bit of everything today. It was such a beautiful hike. This is nearly the perfect hike, but um, really, really happy. So we'll end it on a good note. Thank you. All these episodes will probably be released in coordinates together once I get internet. But besides that, we're going to enjoy these views and enjoy our beautiful, beautiful tent tonight and our beautiful food and uh, say hello to the beautiful viewers. Everyone have a good night.